Welcome to Digital, a podcast brought to you by Attention Media, a location agnostic digital growth agency helping businesses become iconic brands. On this show, we dive into the hottest topics, the latest updates, and what's working in social media and digital marketing right now to get you up to speed and keep you informed. And if you want to grow your business through strategic digital marketing, head over to attentionmedia.com.au, click on the Book a Discovery Call tab, fill out some details, and we'll be in touch. We'd also love to know if you're listening to this show. So please take a screenshot, upload it to your preferred social media account and tag us at Attention Media Agency. Let's get into the show. All right, here we go. We are talking social media optimizations today, guys. It's awesome to be back recording a podcast, the Attention Media Podcast. Very, very excited. So thank you for joining us. Uh, Today, we're going to keep it nice, short and sharp. Uh, We've got three practical, tactical tips uh, to help you optimize what you are doing on social media, right? So we all want to be getting the uh, you know the best bang for buck, the best return, the, the best results that we can out of the time and energy and focus that we put into our social media. So today we're going to th- share three big tips to uh, help you do just that. All right, so we're going to start with uh, tip number one is live streaming. So uh, during this pandemic, um, live streaming has been very, very popular and it makes Makes complete sense because it's a way that um, you can create content that is it's raw, it's engaging, it's real, uh, it's real time. Um, so there's no surprise that uh, you go to your social media feed now and you know all of the top stories that are showing on your phone is uh, people live uh, and and live streaming. So it's been really cool. I'm I, I love live streaming. Always loved live streaming. Um, so it's been awesome to see uh, a resurgence of sorts uh, with live streaming. Okay, people flocking to live streaming because we haven't been able to have that face to face contact. So the amount of innovation as well, like or just the great ideas, like you know we've had people live streaming dinner parties right um, you know, we, we can't have get our friends over and all have dinner together. So people have been live streaming uh, dinner parties. They've been skyping dinner parties, all that sort of thing. Artists have been live streaming music concerts and and sets and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and then obviously, you know, the business world and the marketing world has been using live streaming as well uh, very effectively. So hopefully we see it continue even after the pandemic. Um, hopefully we still see live streaming, uh, you know, continue to be popular uh, as a way for people to connect uh, in a a real and raw and authentic way um, because it is a super powerful way for businesses to to market, to build brand awareness, to connect with their community in a way that not many do. Um, and I think we, uh, you know, it's, it's a really powerful way to build brand uh, and, you know, really build a, a solid community because it is, it's, it's real, it's raw, it's authentic. And, uh, you know, and, and we all, uh, we all appreciate that. So, Live streaming is definitely uh, the first tip uh, for today's episode. So not only is it great in terms of you know brand building um, and a great way to connect with people, but the social media platforms also love it, right? They will over-index uh, live streams, right? Which means that they will give you more organic reach than other types of content on the platform, okay? So there's, um, yes, live streaming might be a little bit difficult. It might be a little, make you a little bit uncomfortable, but you... The, the reward for you taking that re- that risk is that you will get more organic reach. You will generally reach more people. Uh, the algorithm will push it out into people's news feeds. It will send people notifications that you are live. So it really, really helps to you know bring people into your brand um, so that they can engage with your live streams. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that uh, if you're if you're new to live streaming or you have a, a smaller following or you're just starting out, uh, you know you're not going to get a thousand people watching a live stream straight off the bat. But if you're consistent, if you provide good content uh, and you stick to it. It will definitely help you build a community um, when you're putting out great content like live streaming. So, um, you know, if there's anybody listening who does love their live streaming as well, we'd love to hear from you. Love to hear some success stories. Um, so, jump over to uh, our Instagram at Attention Media Agency and uh, and let us know. We'd uh, love to share some of the advice or success stories that you've had on on a future episode. So, number two with our social media optimizations is repurposing content for different platforms, right? So we want to make sure that when we record a video, we might record a video on our phone, um, you know, and we record in in landscape mode, right? Um, 
and you know a, a format that is uh, perfect for YouTube, but it's not perfect for Facebook or your Instagram feed, right, or Instagram stories. Okay, so we need to make sure that we're optimizing our content. One, because it uh, you know it, it creates a better user experience for people. Um, if we're talking Instagram stories, we want to make sure that the the footage is 1920 pixels high by 1080 wide, uh, so that it fills up the entire screen. Right, we all love our Instagram stories, but uh, we like to see that vertical content fill up the whole screen and it just looks better right so there's a lot of uh, you know platforms out there that can obviously help you resize your content um, you can do it yourself you can send it to an editor uh, but there's a lot of great platforms out there now and a lot of the top social media management platforms will have an inbuilt editor for you so that you can crop uh, and trim and do whatever you need to with your piece of content your video content in order to make it fit the uh, placement that you are putting it on. Okay, so for Facebook newsfeed, we want to make sure that it's either square, so 1080 by 1080 pixels, for example, or vertical uh, in a 1530 high by 1080 wide uh, format, so that you're taking up as much of the uh, as much screen real estate as possible. But um, as I said, a lot of those. Uh, social media platforms now have uh, inbuilt editors to help you. And that also goes for uh, Facebook Ads Manager, right? It has an inbuilt uh, editing function now where you can upload a uh, a landscape HD video and uh, you are able to crop it and trim it so that it fits the different placements uh, when you are creating Facebook ads. And it does have a big impact because the algorithm knows that you've taken the time to make sure that the content is optimized for the placement that you're putting it in. Uh, so it's going to be a better user experience and the algorithm is going to uh, reward you by helping put that content in front of the right people so that you're reaching the objectives that you want to reach. So that's number two. Number three is optimizing your content for the way that it's consumed. Okay, so when we're talking video, uh, most of us know now that captions are a must, right? You know, there's 80% of video is watched with the sound off. Okay, so you can go to all this effort to create great video content, you upload it onto a social media platform. If you don't have captions, four out of five people are either not going to watch that video because it's just somebody talking and you know there's no auto playing, there's no sound. Um, so they are going to scroll on past, right? So we don't want to make that mistake where we're putting video content up without captions and it's just a talking head and they scroll on past, right? So captions is a must. Uh, whether you upload it natively when you're uploading to Facebook or whether you add the captions in to the actual video itself, uh, so embed the captions in the video content, um, whichever way, just make sure that you're adding captions so that you can capture uh, the attention of the most people possible, right? And people can follow along, they can read along. Big, big, big tip there. Uh, things like tags, hashtags, titles, and thumbnails, they are all super important as well, um, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook, adding these little things in. Uh, let's take Facebook, for example. When we're uploading a new video to Facebook, it gives you the option to add a title, right? It gives you the option to add tags into your video. And what this does is it gives the algorithm more information about what your content is about, okay? So that it can go and try and find people who are interested in that type of content, okay? So the more information you can give the platform in the form of titles, hashtags, um, tags, all that sort of thing, it's going to benefit your content because it's going to give the algorithm more information about what this piece of content is, uh, who it's designed for, and the algorithm will do its best to put that content into the feeds of those people. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, we often spend so much time creating content, but the optimization of that content, the distribution of that content, there's nowhere near enough emphasis and time and effort put into that. One, sometimes because you know, people just lack some technical skills or the knowledge. Um, but you know, if we can do anything to help you, the process after you've created your piece of content is just as important, if not more important, uh, in order to make sure that you know people see that content. Right? There's nothing w worse than uh, you know 
create, spending time creating content, uploading it online, and then nothing happens. Like this, it's just crickets, right? Um, we don't want that to happen. Um, and a lot of the time, if you can optimize your content, then you are going to get a lot more engagement and you're going to reach your goals a lot faster. So I hope those three tips help guys. Nice, short and sweet. As I said, number one, live streaming. Keep live streaming, be innovative, use that platform to reach more people, to drive more authentic, engaging content, right? Uh, And give people a bit of a look behind the scenes. Like we all wanna know what's behind the scenes, right? We wanna see what other people are up to, what their life is like. give people that opportunity, be vulnerable and uh, and show people the real you, live stream. Number two, repurpose your content. So making sure that you are resizing your content to fit the placement that you are putting where you're sending that content, right? And number three, adding all of the information that you can when you're uploading and distributing that content, such as headlines, titles, tags, hashtags, in order to give the algorithm the information that it needs and people the information that they need when they're searching for particular types of content as well, okay? So that is the three tips for today. I really hope that helps. If you need more help, if uh, if you've got any tips of your own, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we would also love to know if you are listening to this podcast. So if you have listened all the way to the end, uh, thank you very much. We really do appreciate it. What we'd love you to do is take a screenshot on your phone and upload it to Instagram, right? And tag us at Attention Media Agency and, uh, and we'll share that out. If you've got any questions, please do hit us up. We would love to create content based around what you guys would would like to hear what you need help with you know the, the tough questions that you've got we want to hear those so that we can help create content to answer those questions so that's it for this episode guys thank you very much for listening and we'll see you very soon So that's it for another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. As we mentioned, we'd love to get your thoughts and feedback on this episode. You can do that by heading over to our Instagram at Attention Media Agency and letting us know what your thoughts. Send us a message. We'd love to hear from you. We'd also love to know what you'd like us to talk about in upcoming episodes. So send us your topic ideas. We are always interested. And if you'd love to know more, head over to the website, attentionmedia.com.au. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next episode. 